Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you want to cook. On today's video, we are making these amazing and delicious dinner rolls. Okay, let's get started guys and as usual, I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. So in my bowl, I have 2 cups of warm water and added 1 teaspoon of sugar and I'm adding 1 packet of yeast. Then I'm just gonna mix that together and set it aside to ferment. For about 3-6 to six minutes, that should be enough. Just about you are done mixing the dry ingredients. Now in another bowl, I'm gonna take my sieve and sieve 10 cups of flour. Now sieving is optional but I do love it so much guys. It gives it a light texture. It's very fluffy but it is optional. I do not like a heavy dense bread, hence that's why I sieve my flour. And then I'm gonna add 2 teaspoons of salt and half a cup of sugar and then I'm just gonna mix that through. Okay, now in my yeast mixture, I'm going to add half a cup of oil and then I'm going to add it to my flour. Then I'm going to add two cups of milk. I'm going to add one more cup of milk. This is half a cup of milk. I added, I divided the cup into two so that I don't add too much um, wet ingredients into my flour. I don't want it to be a very dry dough, but I also don't want it to be a very wet dough. Just in between and very pliable and soft. This is the last half a cup of milk. So that would be... Uh, the wet ingredients would be 2 cups of warm water and 3 cups of milk. If you don't want to use milk, you can just add all water. Now, this is a big, big dough. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to continue to knead it in my bowl. I'm going to take it um, to the surface. I'm just kneading here just for it to come together. And then I'm going to take it to my surface. Unfortunately, I did not... Add that to the clips because the camera was just stega taking and shaking everywhere. So I was like, okay, everybody can need, right? But if this is a big dough, you need to take your time. I'm just gonna put it in my big bowl that I just smeared with some oil so that the dough doesn't stick together. And this is my dough after about half an hour or an hour at least. Okay. And then I just prepared my banking tray with some cooking spray and then I'm going to portion out my dough into two. The other half I'm going to put it in my bowl and place it in the refrigerator. I uh, do that because I don't want my... It is, it's very hot in South Africa guys so if I had put it out on the countertop or just left it there it would have risen even triple the amount it is right now so putting it in the fridge it's still gonna rise but it's not gonna rise as much it's just gonna decrease the volume that it rises so i'm just gonna push it out my dough into little bowls that i'm gonna put to my tray and then i'm gonna cover them with some a kitchen towel and let them rise for the second time for about five to ten minutes just for them to double in size again and then I'm gonna brush them with some milk. I prefer using milk when breaking bread than um, egg because I don't. I just don't like the smell of the egg. But if you don't mind the egg, please use it. 
and if you're still watching it this time ha you are a real one okay my goal is to get to 1 million subscribers one day and i cannot do that without you so with that being said please do subscribe leave a comment down below like the video and share so that we can reach more people and grow the family thank you so much for your support i see you guys and i'm loving it let's continue cooking together also don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook on instagram it's wanna cook underscore wanna cook no <laughs> it's wanna underscore cook underscore yes it's two underscores and on facebook it's wanna cook you can find the links to my social media on the description box down below i left the links there so you don't have to go and search for my name just click a link and you're there Give a sister a photo, give a sister a like. I post more recipes there and beautiful, absolutely beautiful pictures. Now I'm just gonna brush my buns with milk and then I'm gonna put them in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. I don't like putting a timer on it because guys, oven don't cook the same. My oven may be slower, yours may be faster. You know, you just gotta work with it, but just keep an eye on them put in a skewer or toothpick if it comes out dry then they are super ready and there you go now while they're still hot i'm gonna smear them with some butter that is gonna allow them to be even more softer because they will suck up that moisture of the butter and the butter will also give them another you know buttery salty flavor so yeah here they are guys i hope you try them i hope you like the recipe please give it a thumbs up and comment down below i will reply i swear i will reply now let's open them up and see guys i swear these are filling two of these and you will be full no cap i am not joking these are very very filling and they are soft i mean why buy bread when you can make it yourself even better oh this is so satisfying guys i hope you try it and yeah there you go guys please leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already like and share and i will see you on the next one